Hey, it's Owen Bigline. This is the Inside Edge video blog. I wanted to let you know about a couple of major changes uh, to the BC Strata Act and uh, voting requirements needed to, to pass special levies to get work done. Um, the first one is we all know that uh, you always needed a three-quarter resolution to get anything passed. And uh, that's a lot of people. 75% have to vote in favor to get the windows replaced or the roof repaired or whatever. Pretty tough to do. It's a pretty tall order to get 75% uh, of uh, anyone to agree on anything, let alone spending millions of dollars to replace a roof. So that's changed now. If uh, a strata corporation has a depreciation report on file and it calls for these repairs to be done, so let's say uh, it's a balcony repair. So there's a bunch of balconies in a complex that are uh, hazardous. They're way beyond their life expectancy. They need to be replaced. In the old days, you needed to get a three-quarter resolution to get that passed. Now you're only going to need a majority vote, 51%. If it calls for it in the uh, in the uh, depreciation report, 51% is all that's going to be needed to get that levy passed to use contingency fund money to replace those balconies. The other one, which is uh, which is a really major change now, it's a uh, it's a new special levy levy remedy to override the defeat of a special levy. So the situation is this, if you've got, let's say, a major rain screening job that needs to get done, uh, it might be eight, nine, ten million dollars, and there's many of those out there right now. Uh, you take a vote in the old, in the past, you've needed a three-quarter resolution to get that passed. It gets defeated, you'd have to keep trying it again and again until you got 75% to vote in favor of it. Sometimes these things can go on for years while the complex deteriorates. Now there is a new remedy in place that if that vote gets defeated and it, it, the work is necessary, the work is necessary for the safety or to prevent significant loss or damage to the complex, the owners now can go to the Supreme Court to get that levy approved. So I'll give you a prime example of a complex in West Richmond here. 400 units, 8 buildings. They got a depreciation report done a couple of years ago and they need some work. The siding needs to be done, the balconies need to be repaired, windows need to be replaced. Uh, we're looking at a cost of about $10 million to do this. It's been bandied about, revised a few times, taken down to maybe $8 million. They voted on it three times. The last vote got 74%. Uh, it failed by one vote, uh, or two votes, out of the 420 owners that they needed to get this approved. Well, they're going to vote on it one more time next month, but I can tell you that if it doesn't pass this time, uh, you bet that they'll be taking this, uh, this new remedy that they put out, uh, take it to the Supreme Court uh, to get it overruled. And I can tell you, when the judge looks at that saying the last vote you got was 74%, that should get put through. So what this all means, and I blogged about it a couple years ago, this is all part of the BC government's uh, initiative to lower the, uh, the threshold to get any work done uh, on a strata. Too many of these older stratas are, are uh, falling into disrepair and uh, it's pretty tough to get 75% of the owners to get anything approved, especially when you're, when you're looking to raise five, 10, 20, 15 million dollars to do a rain screening job. So uh, the government now is making it a lot easier that if this work is necessary, um, you know, to, uh, to uh, prevent any more uh, loss or damage to the complex, uh, they're making it a lot, a lot easier to get these, uh, these levies and these votes passed. I'm Owen Biglen. As always, thanks for watching. I got homes to sell. See you next time.